In this Photoshop tutorial, I will show you how to make a sticker in Photoshop. This is a very quick and easy method to transform a photo into a sticker design that is ready to print. At the end of this tutorial, I will show you a toolkit for making high quality artistic sticker designs using AI. So let's start with dragging a photo into Photoshop. I'm using this image of Mr. Whiskers, but you can use any photo. Click on the magic wand tool, then click the select subject button to make a selection around the subject. Then Click the Add Layer Mask button to create a mask. Using the Brush tool, set the foreground color to black and the brush hardness to 100% Dodge Cheap. Draw inside the mask to hide the parts of the photo we don't want in the sticker. Now, let's convert the layer to a smart object. This will be useful later on. Double click on the smart object to edit it. We can add a few adjustment layers here to change the look of the sticker image. For example, I'm using a brightness and contrast adjustment layer. I've also added a vibrance adjustment layer. These are optional, but they help improving the sticker design. Let's save and close our smart object. Then in the main file, let's double click on the layer to add a layer style. Select stroke, make it 30 pixels, white and outside. This will add a white border around our sticker. The sticker is complete. Now, let's see how to print it. We need to create a sticker sheet design that we can print on adhesive sticker paper. This sheet is something we can reuse for our other sticker designs. Let's click File, New, and then choose the Afro Paper Preset. It's important to note that this preset has 300 dpi for resolution. This is important for printing. We go back in our sticker design and right click on the layer to duplicate it into the newly created sticker sheet document. Because both the border of the sticker and the background are white, it's going to be difficult to see the edges of the sticker. To fix this, let's add another stroke in the layer styles. Click the plus button and the stroke will be duplicated. Make the new stroke black and increase the size by one or two pixels. Now the edges are clearly visible and we can use them as a guide when cutting out the stickers. Go to Window then, click on Info. This will open up the Information window. Under the panel options, you can select the ruler units displayed by the window. Choose your preferred units, either inches, centimeters, or millimeters. Now when you click Ctrl and T, you can see the physical size of the sticker displayed in the information window. Resize it to the desired size. For me, 5.5 centimeters is a reasonable size for a sticker like this. Adjust the position of the sticker to one corner. Then hold down the Alt key and drag the sticker to make a copy. Do that again for another copy. Select the three layers and click Distribute to space them evenly. Group them together and holding the Alt key again, drag down a couple of times for extra copies. The sticker sheet is complete. Go to File, and then click Print to print the sticker paper sheet. You can also save it as a PDF to send it to a print shop, or save it as a PSD to make a reusable sticker template. The cool thing about the sticker template sheet is that you can now double click on any of the smart objects in the sheet and modify the sticker design. Let's drag in a photo of Olivia, then hide Mr. Whiskers. Following the same process as before, we create a mask making some adjustments with the brush tool. As an extra step, let's add some text. Using a large handwriting font, let's write the text Happy Birthday, Olivia. Let's center it and change the color to a dark pink color sampled from the flowers on Olivia's head. Let's also reposition the image together with the text and save the smart object. This will automatically update the sticker design sheet. If we look closer now, we see that the image and text make up the sticker, but there's an area of the border that doesn't look right. We can fix this by going into the smart object again and painting inside the mouse. We click save and we're done. For making high quality artistic sticker designs using AI, I've put together a toolkit with AI prompts that you can use to generate cool stickers like these. You can get the toolkit from the link in the description below. Together with the AI prompts, and reusable prompt template, you will also receive a 100% discount code for getting 50 AI bonus credits. These can be used to generate stickers. If you like this Photoshop tutorial on how to create stickers in Photoshop, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.